everyone, Angela, the Arcturian star seed here. Um, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about dimensional hierarchy and the processes that we have to go through in order to incarnate on Earth. So I don't think that very many people get to incarnate on Earth, regardless of what dimension they come from, without going through the process of having our memories wiped, going through all of these experiences asleep, and then being activated and awoken at a certain point, which is where we get to actually fulfill the mission that we came here to do. But everything that we do up until that point is kind of working out maybe other soul lessons from other planets or lifetimes that we had. Um, it could We could still come here and resolve karma for the first part until activation. And then once we're activated, we can move on. But I think that we all kind of have to go through that process in order to incarnate on Earth. I don't think very many people incarnate here and awaken early or as a result of not very much pain. I don't think there's many that come here and they're born awake. There are some, but they're very, very rare. And I think most of us have to go through the cycle of forgetting and remembering and playing the 3D Earth game of remembering who we are by experiencing who we are not. And so on a soul level, we think this stuff is fun. Like, we do this stuff for fun. Let's go to the Earth 3D Matrix and see if I can remember who I am, you know? Yeah, let's do it. I can just totally see all of us laughing about it and thinking that it's so funny after the fact. But when we're here and we have the ego attachment and we don't remember who we are or why we're here, or what our purpose is or any of that, then we can start to create a very negative reality. And I think the majority of us do for a long time. For me, it took me until I was almost 40 to finally get it and wake up and be able to see through the illusion and understand that I am here to fulfill a mission. I'm here in service to the planet more than anything. Um, and that as to be able to have the opportunity to do that, that I was going to have to experience a lot of pain and suffering as a result. But the pain and suffering has taught me so much about myself that I don't see it now as a bad thing. and. You know, the, the key to really getting out of the matrix is mastering the mind. This little tool here is a tool, but we have to learn how to use it as a tool. Um, when we don't control this and we let our ego self, which I kind of refer to the shadow, the ego is kind of our shadow aspect, the duality, our spirit, our ego, the duality, because we're in duality consciousness, but when we're letting ego run this machine, we're going to create all kinds of things because the ego is a frequency of fear, of struggle, of pain, of you know stubbornness, all of those negative things that come with the ego driving the car, essentially. And so, you know, those of us who have done many, many lifetimes, who have, you know, who my regular home is in the ninth dimension. I've lived many lives, many, many lives on many different planets as many different beings. And that doesn't exempt me from, you know, I can't just come to earth and be like, hey, you know, I'm here to save you all. It just doesn't work that way. I still have to go through the same process as everyone else. And I think that's kind of a prerequisite for incarnation on this planet, so. I don't know, something to think about. And also, the idea of hierarchy outside of the 3D matrix, to me, it doesn't seem very plausible. Um, to me, hierarchy is a control system. 
that the ego, that duality consciousness uses to make other people feel less than. So if I say I'm a ninth dimension Arcturian and you know that you're only a fifth dimension Syrian or whatever, then you might feel like, oh, I'm beneath her because she's hit the ninth dimension but that's not how it is on the outside it's not like that we don't have hierarchy structures and that being in the ninth dimension only means that I've lived all the required lifetimes to reach that level of being you know there's being and there's consciousness right now my being is on the ninth dimension my consciousness is only on the fourth like I'm in the fourth dimension consciousness right now I haven't transcended to the fifth but I work on it every day um, I try to keep my vibration high and I control this I control what I'm thinking I control you know I learned how to process what I'm feeling correctly and feel it which is really important and as a result I have seen my matrix change. I've seen my reality change. It's not so hard anymore because I understand why things are the way that they are. I understand why I'm here, what I'm doing, what the purpose of pain is, and all of those things, which I think is an advantage that a lot of human souls don't get. I think we have the advantage because we've transcended Earth school a long time ago, you know, and other schools after that and so it's easier for us to be awakened here on earth because we've done it enough times that we just have an inner knowing that this isn't all there is that there is purpose to it that there's a reason for it and that we all have a mission that we are trying to accomplish by being here and there are some people that have incarnated on earth thousands of times and they still don't get it you know will they ever get it sure I'm sure that they will but there are many who it takes lots and lots of lifetimes to be to a point where they can even awaken in the physical body and I think that's kind of a signpost for human souls that when you're finally able to wake up in the physical body and remember who you are by experiencing what you're not then you are at the end of the 3d matrix game and you have almost graduated earth school so if you're there if you're awake and you're not a star seed um congratulations you have almost passed the earth matrix which is huge once you get past duality consciousness it's all downhill from there i mean we still have a lot of tough lessons to learn, but I think duality consciousness is the most difficult because Earth is one of the only planets, not the only one, but one of the only ones that we can come to and where we're completely wiped, where we don't remember who we are. We have no clue. And all we know is one day we just exist and we don't know why. We don't understand anything. and. Most people go from birth to death, not ever knowing who they are. And I can imagine they're in for quite a shock when they get back to the other side and they're like, oh man, if only I had awoken, if only I could have remembered my mission, right? But those of us who are lucky enough to have awakened in the physical, that is a huge deal. But as far as dimensional hierarchy goes, it's not in the sense of I'm of I'm better than you I, I know more than you or that I'm somehow above anyone who's not on that dimension or I don't see people that are on higher dimensions as better or higher than me it just simply means that I've experienced enough lifetimes I've gained enough knowledge and wisdom to to graduate up into that dimension and you know coming from a light body into a physical heavy 3d body has been very hard for me I don't
don't really like being in a physical body at all. It hurts, it's painful, it's uncomfortable, it's disgusting. There's a lot of gross things about physicality. But I'm trying to get to a place where I can appreciate my body as the temple that it is and, and just try to accept that it's temporary and that I'll be back into my light body soon enough. Where I'll be free as a bird, pain free, able to go anywhere with just a thought. I mean, what freedom. I can't wait to get back to that. So, um, so I just wanted to kind of share that and I, and I don't want people to be intimidated by star seeds who come out that are on higher dimensions than you or that are star seeds and you're an earth soul. Like it doesn't mean anything. We're all equal. We're all one. We're all in this together and we can get through it. So the most important thing that we can do though is learn how to master the mind. You master the mind, you master the matrix. So make sure that you're keeping your thoughts in check and that you're not creating realities that you don't want to be in. And you will see how you can create a totally different reality and a totally different life by harnessing what you're thinking. So anyway, thank you.